I can barely speak. I'm so exhausted. So I finally made it to Baker Lake. And my map that said that it was 5.6 miles, yeah, it lied. It's not 5.6 miles. Try seven. And the last three are without water. Because I didn't think it was gonna be seven miles. So I drank the last of my water, I wanna say an hour and a half, probably an hour and a half ago. Beautiful. I am exhausted. It seems like this lake has shrunk. I'm gonna assume this is where people camp. Somewhere in here, there's gonna be, I don't know, spots for a tent. It says no fire, uh, there's a fire pit. Come on, people. Let's not burn everything down. I'm not going down there because if it rains. You know what? I have a feeling. I need to go to the other side. Oh, shit. I have a feeling most people are camping over there. I don't know why I came over here. There's literally nothing here but a bunch of rocks. Wow. Yeah, I need to be over there. I'm gonna put this away and I'm gonna give myself some water because I am parched. All right, so I've got camp set up right next to Baker Lake. There's a huge, huge mountain back here. And here is where I'm going to have dinner. It's probably going to be an early night because I'm exhausted. Um, my All Trails app on my phone said this was a 5.6 mile hike. Yeah, they were way off the mark. How about closer to seven? Yeah, this was grueling. I really didn't expect. I didn't expect seven miles. I expected 5.6. I thought, oh, I got this. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't have anything. Uh, I had a long way to go is what I had. All right. I hope it's going to be cold tonight because I'm looking forward to it. There's Pyramid Peak. I set that as a goal to climb. That's not happening. <laughs> not even close. 
I commend anyone who climbs that. And then we have this beautiful cirque. I think I think this is Mount Baker. I think that's I think that's Mount Baker. Up there. I know there's people who've climbed that. It looks like there's really nice camping spots over there, but I was so exhausted by the time I got here that I took the first one I could find. And Baker Lake has receded a lot. As you can see, this all used to be underwater. Now you have to go across all these jumbled rocks. <clears throat> it's not fun and they move. So you have to be really careful where you step or you could twist an ankle. I I did hear a story about somebody who spent the night here and they heard a rock fall from up here. They said it was really loud. I hope there's not one tonight. Maybe that's Mount Baker back there. I don't know. All I know is that it took almost seven miles to get here. And that was almost two miles more than what was on the map. And uh, when I get home, I'm gonna make sure I leave a nice little review Letting people know, don't be fooled. It's much longer than you thought. Well, I am going to rest for a little bit. Now that everything is up. Everything is set up. And unfortunately, I had a Sawyer squeeze and when I used it yesterday it was barely pumping so now <laughs> funny enough that's the same life straw that was given to me by these wonderful hikers a couple of years ago in the Sierra Nevada. I was heading out to Cottonwood Lakes and on my first stop to purify water I realized my filter wasn't working. Uh, that was not good. So I decided to keep going and the first people I came upon I asked them if they happen to have an extra water filter on them, which is rare because most people don't do that. And they looked at each other and said, yeah, as a matter of fact, we do. And I said, oh my goodness, wow. Um, could you, I don't know, give it to me? <laughs> and they said, yeah, we'd be more than happy to give it to you, but you need to promise to pay it back. And I said, wow. I'll be more than happy to pay it back, thank you so much, because if they wouldn't have given it to me, I would have had to turn around and cancel my trip. So, <clears throat> I hiked on, I got to Cottonwood Lakes, and that's where I met up with the Sierra Geezers, old retired folk who go hiking for that that hike was 11 days that they were going to do, or they were in the middle of, when I met them. And one of the girls that was in the group um, said that she had run out of fuel. And I said, you know what? I'll be more than happy to lend you mine. So I was able to pay it back. Wow. 
So beautiful. Let's hope it doesn't rain tonight. Well, I just left camp at Baker Lake and it's 7 a.m. And I'm pretty much the only one on the trail. I didn't sleep very well. But that's to be expected. Usually if I'm on a on a hike for two or three days. I can usually get acclimated to being in my tent and I can sleep pretty well. You'd think with yesterday's hike it was pretty difficult um, that I would have been completely exhausted. But no. And it was a tad bit warm I expected it to go down into the 40s and I don't think it got any lower than 54 it's warming up pretty nicely now not that I like it I don't I like the cold look at the cliffs on these peaks that one's pyramid peak And my GPS said that I had walked 10 miles yesterday. Um, <laughs> I didn't know it was 10 miles. It sure did feel like it. It took me six hours, so it sounds about right. That's weird because the map said it was only... 5.6 miles up here. Yeah. Try doubling that. Almost 2,700 feet in elevation gain. And this is pretty much where this entire trail looks like. It's all rocks. All right, off we go.